Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to Olive Ave Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have the Edge of Spring collection. This is from Polish and these six beautiful spring polishes are dropping for pre-order uh, the weekend of the 13th. So that's coming up this weekend. I will drop all of the pre-order information along with a link to Polish's site down below in my description box. Let's dive in and look at these six beautiful polishes and then I'll tell you a little bit more about my favorites at the end. Okay, first up is Wisteria, and this one is an indigo cream with crushed gold flakes, is how they describe it on the Polish website. And I definitely see this indigo in here. It's like that color that's right between blue and purple. It reminds me a lot of like Virgo or um, from All About Polish or Danielle from Zoya, that kind of blurply um, shade. I would say this one's a little bit more uh, like on the dusty side. It's got a little bit of dustiness to it, but those gold flakes really just pop out of the base. Um, this one has a very similar formula to other gold flaky polishes from Polish that I have used before. So the first coat is going to be a little bit sheer. That's so that you can see all those delicious gold flakes. Um, and it's not super, what's the right word? Like it's not super runny, but it's also not thick. It just kind of like goes where you put it. Um, and so I do think this one can get opaque in two coats. You might actually need three. When I was editing my swatch photo, I thought, you know, I might have actually needed three here, but it was, I couldn't tell except for when I was in my direct swatching lights. And so it's always a little hard to know. Um, in normal lighting, you might be totally fine with two coats just to wear this beauty. Um, but if you are really, really a stickler for complete total opacity in every single directly bright lighting you might want to do three coats or if you have longer nails than me um i did really enjoy this one i mean this is just one of my favorite finishes in the entire world for a polish i love 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 these gold flakes they're so beautiful um so that is two coats of wisteria by polish an indigo cream with gold flakes Okay, and now we're gonna move into several stunning holographic shades. This first one is Catmint, and this is described as a soft silvery lilac packed with holographic flakes. And if I had to pick a second favorite finish from Polish, it would probably be this one. Um, I love their packed holographic polishes. They're so beautiful. I think the first one that I ever tried from them was seaside maybe and it's like a like a very deep summer blue um packed with holographic flakes and it's gorgeous i might be misremembering that name but it's really pretty uh catmint is this really delicate very springy purple base and something about like the cool tone of this purple just works so so well with these silver holographic flakes it just like it's absolutely perfect this combination is so beautiful um and this one does definitely get opaque in two coats i think you know with the holographic you can kind of get a lot of that reflective quality back and so even if you have some base that's not super super trans um super super opaque you get a lot of that reflective quality back from the holographic and so it looks totally cohesive and totally opaque so i definitely think this one's good in two coats and again it has a formula that it doesn't really run or pull it just kind of goes exactly where you put it so that's two coats of cat mint Okay, and now we have another one of these beautiful holographic finishes. I told you we're gonna look at a couple of them. This one is Ume, and this one is a pale vintage mint packed with holographic flakes. And I did look up how to do, do, um, pronounce this, but I'm sure I'm doing it wrong, and so someone will correct me. I promise I always do my best. <laughs> um, I like this color. It is a very delicate, very soft green. And again, it has that kind of like cool toned base. So this, this green is not super bright. It doesn't have a lot of yellow in it. It's like a very whited out green. And so it works really beautifully with that cooler kind of silver shift in here. Um, shift, what am I talking about? Holographic. It's a bright holographic shimmer. Um, but it's really, really stunning. And it has the same formula as the one that we just looked at, Cat Mint. And so it goes on really well. I could see you needing three coats of this one just because the color is a little bit lighter, but it's it's gonna be up to you. Um, I am only wearing two coats in my live swatch and also in my swatch photo, but this is the only one that I, I think you might need three depending on how you apply it. Um, I tend to do kind of a thicker second coat for any polish that I wear. Um, and if you don't do that, if you do two really thin coats, you might need a third one. So that is two coats of the lovely Ume. Okay, and the last in this kind of trio of packed holographic polishes is Lotus. This is a bright rose pink packed with holographic flakes. This one has a slightly more jelly formula, I wanna say, than the first two we just looked at, but my guess is that's just related to the base here, having a little bit less white in it. It's a little more, 
I don't know, a little more translucent. Shannon's probably gonna watch this video and be like, what are you talking about, Walker? They're all the same. But this one I think feels a little bit more jelly and it does feel just like you can see a little bit more of the base, uh, maybe because it's brighter, I'm not sure. Um, but I do really like the combination here of the holographic and the pink base. And I know that I have a lot of pink lovers <laughs> on this channel who like pink more than I do. And so you are gonna probably love this one. Um, I love that it's a little bit more vibrant. So this is kind of a different, side of spring than the first two we looked at that were very kind of like pastel and pale and traditional spring. This one's a little bit more punchy and juicy. Um, and so this one's gonna be really lovely, especially like later in the season. Um, it has a really nice formula. Again, it just kind of goes where you put it. There's no running, there's no pooling. It's not too thick. It's, it's really beautiful. So that is two coats of the absolutely delicious and super bright Lotus. Okay, I'm just gonna spoil it. This one is absolutely stellar. This is Fig, and I think the name on this one is Perfection. <laughs> it's such a good name for this polish. Uh, polish describes this one as a warm blush with scattered holographic flakes and copper green shifting pigment. This one I just think is so beautiful, and I think it's a kind of polish that Polish does so, so, so well. They do that contrasting shimmer absolutely beautifully. They do that holographic flake absolutely beautifully, and I just, yeah, I love this one. Um, it's a really nice kind of, it's like neutral, but it's really fun and interesting, you know? Um, I don't know, I, I love this one. I love the shift, it's really apparent both on the nails and the bottle. Again, the holographic is apparent in both the nails and the bottle. It's stellar, absolutely stellar. Um, this one, it, yeah, I, I'm gonna wear it in two coats. I could see you needing three, I think it's probably gonna be a matter of personal preference um, and how long your nails are, but I, I wore this one in two coats and I think it's beautiful. I am definitely gonna wear this one later this spring because I just, I love a good neutral with like a little bit of something in it. <laughs> it's really, really fun. And so that is two coats of Polish Fig. Yum, look how beautiful that is. Okay, last up we have Persimmon. This is a bright copper with metallic gold and silver flakes. And so this one is gonna look pretty different from the other gold flaky polishes you've seen from Polish because the base is a little bit more jelly translucent. It's not quite as um, kind of creamy with that base. I will say this one's probably my least favorite from the collection, but honestly, it's because the other five in this collection were stellar. <laughs> and so normally I would probably really, really enjoy this one. Um, this one is, yeah, it's really interesting. It's super packed with those flakies. So it is very intense with the flakies. It's not sparse on the flakies at all. And yeah, if you are an orange lover, I think you're gonna love this one. I do like that this collection has some that are kind of on both edges of spring almost. Uh, you know, there's some for kind of the transition into spring and then this one and Lotus, the pink, are gonna be kind of for that transition out of spring. Um, the formula on this one, like I said, is a little bit more jelly and those flakies are definitely a little bit bigger. So I didn't have to do any manipulation, but I did kind of have to like poke them in <laughs> from the edge of my nail. Uh, but you know, nothing, nothing too complicated or not worth it for this beautiful polish. And so you're looking at two coats of persimmon. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, I might have given this away while I was swatching these, but it was honestly really hard for me to pick a favorite. I assumed that my favorite was going to be this lovely one with the gold flakes because y'all know how much I love this finish from Polish. And Wisteria was beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and I loved it. But for some reason, the ones that were packed with the holographic in here were just wowing me this time around. And so the one that I actually think was my favorite is Catmint. This is the lovely purple holographic. The purples are just calling to me this year. I don't know why. Um, and so this one was just so fun. I think it was my favorite. When I looked at this collection, I didn't expect it to be my favorite, but when I was swatching them, I just, yeah, I just really love this one. Okay, and then I have to give an honorable mention to Fig because I felt like this one was just the epitome of what Polish does so well. They do this contrasting shimmer in the kind of neutral base so, 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 so well. I feel like the first one that I tried from them was maybe in their um, like Doctor Who collection last year. I, I can't totally remember it, but I just love this combination they do. And there's the sprinkling of holographic in here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful polish. This is a great neutral. And so I think this is probably my second favorite, but honestly, I really enjoyed a lot of them. So hard to tell. Okay, that's the Polish Edge of Spring collection. Again, I will put all the release information in my description box down below. And let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, uh, or let me know if you have any questions. I always love to hear from you. And as always, I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Bye.